Our company has a decision to make, evolve or die. There are two approaches to innovation that companies can choose to follow, sustaining innovation or disruptive innovation. Sustaining innovation is when a company bases the development of their process on current market feedback. This method focuses on reducing problems in existing products and strengthening features already valued by their customers. Disruptive innovation is the action of introducing a new process which has the potential to satisfy future needs of the market. It is more difficult to accept disruptive innovation because these ventures are unproven and possibly bring out unforeseen errors and flaws. The main difference between these two types of innovation is that sustaining innovation satisfies current needs of the market, whereas disruptive innovation evolves to meet future needs of the market. Assessing these two types of innovation raises caution to companies who settle with sustaining innovation. Why do these companies like Kodak, Polaroid, Sears, and Blockbuster fail to survive? This is because they struggle to support small, unproven offerings and ignore disruptive innovation as other companies attack future market needs. A company who settles with sustaining innovation will only maintain short-term success. The problem starts when a company neglects a disruptive technology which doesn't meet the immediate needs of their customers. A small corner of the market then embraces the new technology and perfects it to meet the demands of even the most critical customers in the industry. Disruptive innovation sparks opportunity by exploiting and exploring new and better technologies for the market. Companies like Apple, Uber, Airbnb, PayPal, Square, Amazon, AT&T, Johnson & Johnson, Berkshire Hathaway, and Etsy experienced great success as they evolved and identified where to disrupt the market. For a company to survive, they must embrace changes and future needs. This involves listening to customer feedback and searching for new opportunities to improve functionality and reduce expense. Is it too late for us? We have to identify what type of innovators we are, sustainable or disruptive. Admit that I am a dinosaur and need to change or I will die. What we can measure, we can change. How can we innovate collaboratively while being disruptors? How can we evolve our processes to bring about change and provide new product offerings to our customers? Will our story be that of failure or success? Will we evolve or die?